Garner Guitar, take your playing to the next level. GarnerGuitar.com presents Polyrhythms for Guitar, Part 1. Today we're going to be talking about the four against three polyrhythm. Uh, this rhythm came up while I was working with a student on the Hoysier song, uh, Cherry Wine, and I developed a few exercises to deal with internalizing this rhythm. So first let's look at the theory behind this polyrhythm. On the most basic level, a four against three polyrhythm superimposes four beats in the space of three beats. The first step to understanding how these rhythms line up is to find the least common denominator or LCD of the two numbers. The LCD of 3 and 4 is 12. We will start by drawing a box divided into 12 units. The bottom half will be the 3 rhythm and occurs every 4 units, while the top half is the 4 rhythm and occurs every 3 units. This gives us a visual aid to see exactly how the rhythms line up with one another. Another really great tool for working with polyrhythms is the iOS app uh, Tempo Advance by Frozen Ape. Uh, my blog post on polyrhythms goes into detail about how to use the app. Um, so I've included a link to the app and to my blog post in the notes below this video so you can check that out. Uh, the blog post also includes notation for each exercise as well as a detailed description. Here is a screenshot of Tempo Advance. We have two circles. To make a 4 against 3 polyrhythm, simply slide the outer circle to 3 dots and the inner circle to 4 dots. To enter polyrhythm mode, touch the bottom left hand corner of the app and make sure that the polyrhythm option is selected. To change the tempo, simply tap the center of the app at your desired tempo or press the plus and minus buttons under the number to adjust the tempo. Touching the buttons will adjust the tempo by 1 beat per minute, while holding the buttons will adjust the tempo by 10 beats per minute. This is a really helpful tool for working on polyrhythms and really feeling them. You can do pretty much any polyrhythm with this. Uh, once you really get it together though, it's helpful to try to practice with just like a normal metronome or the tempo advance just set to a normal setting uh, instead of the polyrhythmic mode really helps to internalize it to really know that you have it in that case um, for the purposes of this video I'll just be playing with the polyrhythm mode on tempo advance so also try it at home with just normal metronome okay so when you're playing a polyrhythm you eventually start to hear it as a composite rhythm uh, I'll play this it sounds like dun 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 Da -dun 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 -dun. Okay, which is which is great. It's a good way to be able to feel it, but it's also important to be able to feel each uh, rhythm independently. So to be able to feel the four and to be able to feel the three. So one thing you can do for this is to practice just saying it over the top of the metronome, like so. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Uh. So, uh, being able to go back and forth is really important to be able to really independently feel each of those rhythms. All right, so let's try to apply this polyrhythm to the guitar a little bit. Um, let's start off with playing the low G on the sixth string and the high G on the first string here. We're going to play the three rhythm in the sixth string and the four rhythm in on the first string. So again, we want to start off slowly and gradually increase the tempo.
So the next thing to work on is uh, taking the top voice and putting it into a four note grouping down the G major pentatonic scale. You can basically think of this as playing four notes down from each note of the G major scale or E minor pentatonic scale uh, in the open position. So without the polyrhythm, it sounds like this. And so on, just from each note going down descending four notes. We're going to keep a static G on the sixth string still. Okay, so now that we have that, we can take the same principle and make it a four note ascending pattern. So starting low and going high. Okay, so finally, we can take the descending and ascending idea of the last couple exercises and add an ascending and descending three note pattern in the bass. So while we're going up, or sorry, while we're going down, we're gonna go up. So it sounds like this.
All of the notation for these exercises in standard notation and tab is available on my website, garnerguitar.com. So visit that to take your playing to the next level. Uh, I hope you now have a greater understanding of the four against three polyrhythm and some material for the practice room. Uh, again, leave any comments below and thanks for watching. Garner Guitar, take your playing to the next level.